Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Friday, October the 4th. Today is the feast day of St. Francis of Assisi. Happy feast day, everyone. The Mercy of God community is still on retreat at the Franciscan Center, uh, Spiritual Center in Aston, Pennsylvania. Today's service is in remembrance of all the faithful departed, particularly the deceased members uh, and associates and friends of the Mercy of God community. The scripture for this service, 2 Kings chapter 19, verse 1 through 20, and Psalm 40. And now join me in singing the first verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of St. Columba. Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before our songs of joy we sing. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, I waited patiently for you, my God, and you bent down and heard my cry. Alleluia, Psalm 40. And please recite it with me. Alleluia, I waited patiently for you, my God, and you bent down and heard my cry. You brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the mire we clay, and set my feet upon a high rock, and established my paths. You put a new song in my mouth, praise to you, our God. Many shall see it and fear, and shall trust in you. Blessed are they that put their trust in you, and do not respect the proud, nor liars. Many are your wonderful works and your plans for us. None can be compared to you. If I would tell and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. In your book it is written of me that I delight to do your will, O my God. Yes, your law is written in my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. You know that I have not kept quiet. I have not hidden your justice within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness nor your truth from the great congregation. Do not withhold your tender love from me, my beloved. Let your loving kindness and your truth always preserve me. For innumerable evils have crowded in on me. My sins have taken hold of me so that I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head and I lose heart. Be pleased, O beloved God, to deliver me. O my God, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and confounded that seek to destroy me. Let them be driven backward and put to shame that wish me evil. Let all those that seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let them that love your salvation always say, God most high be glorified. I poor and needy, and yet you remembered me. You are my helper and my savior. O oh my God, do not delay. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, I waited patiently for you, my God, and you bent down and heard my cry. Alleluia. A reading from Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 15, beginning at verse 55. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? But thanks be to God who has given us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Here ends the lesson. A thanksgiving for the saints and the faithful departed. We give thanks to you, O God, for all your servants and witnesses of times past, for Abraham and Sarah, his wife, the parents of all believers, for Moses, the lawgiver, and Aaron, the priest, 
from Miriam and Joshua, Deborah and Gideon, and Samuel with Hannah, his mother, for Isaiah and all of the prophets. We give thanks to you, O God, for all your servants and witnesses of times past. For Mary, the mother of Jesus, for Peter and Paul, and for all of the apostles, for Mary and Martha and Mary Magdalene, for Stephen, the first martyr, and all the martyrs and saints in every age and in every land. We give thanks to you, O God, for all your servants and witnesses of times past. For Brother Francis and Claire, our sister, who inspire this community, and for our brothers and sisters and friends and associates who've gone before us, especially John David McKissick, Ramon Ivan Selick, Angela Joseph Benedict Sasso, Miriam Therese Suzanne O'Neill, Walter Arthur Duval, Robert Patrick Carver, Stephen Edward Burke, John William David Dalton, Stephen Michael Baby, Donald Columbus Steele, and Ronald Francis Crepu Cross. We give thanks to you, O God, for all your servants and witnesses of times past. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Forgive us, tender God, of all our sins and offenses, and restore to us the joy of your salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.